Немножко проскочили. Окей, okay, missed a little bit. Ничего, ничего, Сережа. That's okay, Сережа. It will stabilize in a second, don't worry about it. Yes, I understand. Uh, the offset was no more than by four degrees with the uh, dock in port uh, longitudinal axis. Uh, we are down, three, three cells down, but slowly but surely going back to the center. Okay, still small oscillations. I do not have a visual of the target yet, but I see the dock in port. Copy. Okay, fly around is complete. Copy. Fly around is complete. Uh, the ISS is stable. Satoshi, please uh, prepare the seven. Okay. Sereja, go into the final approach. Copy all. Let me reduce the image. Right, reduce the image and... As uh, the Soyuz station keeps at a distance of about uh, 200 meters away, uh, you can see uh, periodic thruster firings to maintain a stable uh, distance while uh, the Russian flight control team makes its final analysis uh, before uh, giving approval for the Corps' automated rendezvous system to reinitiate the approach for contact and capture. In 20 seconds, Sasha, Mike, while you're ready, let's go. I send final approach command. Yes, uh, Final approach confirmed. Copy. Ten seconds. In ten seconds. Hit V7 and monitor G15. Twenty seconds. Center root. Depot one and two are on. And uh, with everything uh, in great shape, uh, the Soyuz has now initiated its final approach for docking. Time is counting. In 15 seconds, we'll cancel route and send V8. One, two, route is canceled. Everything is correct. Keep going. Would you like me to give you a full screen image? It's up to you. We're gaining the rate, so do it. And the uh, visiting vehicle officer reports that uh, with the Soyuz uh, in such precise alignment and with everything else appearing to be in good shape, there will be no need to take over manual control for a thruster firing that we had indicated earlier uh, at the top of our broadcast. Uh, the other thrusters uh, operating in good shape, compensating for a slight, ever so slight reduction in thrust from one of the uh, four aft thrusters on the Soyuz spacecraft. So uh, we continue uh, the approach for docking, everything in good shape, as uh, the International Space Station and the Soyuz vehicle have flown uh, into an orbital sunset and are now just off the east coast of Argentina, moving from southwest to northeast. Okay, we sent S-17, everything's fine. Okay, let's bring the image to the full screen. Okay, keep going. Docking port is in the center of VSK. SSVP is selected on input one. We're monitoring. Standing by for SSVP activation. From course, the range is 100 meters. 100 meters now separating the Soyuz from its port of call at the Rosviet module. At a distance of about uh, 40 meters or so, the Corps' automated rendezvous antenna will retract uh, if everything continues to go as planned. And uh, you will continue to see varying views, including the engineering overlay view, uh, the uh, same view that Sergei Volkov is seeing in a monitor inside uh, the descent module or the crew compartment of uh, the Soyuz vehicle. The uh, docking target on the Rosviet module ultimately will be in the center of those crosshairs, uh, guided as such by the Corps' automated rendezvous system that is operating as advertised today. Final approach in progress, uh, range from course 75 meters, radial 0.38 and closing, copy. Final approach in progress.
range 70 meters from course, point three and closing. Target is in the center of BSK. Crosshair is aligned. Good visual. Good visual of the target. Final approach in progress. Copy. Range from course 60 meters, 0.25 and closing, target in the center, crosshair is aligned. Oh, I am assessing the uh, range rate visually and actually it's normal. Copy. meters now separating the Soyuz from the Rossviet module, clearly in view in this uh, image from the external television camera on the Soyuz TMA-02M spacecraft. On the lower right-hand corner of your screen, the permanent multi-purpose module that was delivered uh, to the Earth-facing port of the Unity module of the International Space Station uh, on Discovery's final flight on STS-133 uh, back uh, a few months ago. But the target uh, of interest today is uh, just uh, down the street a bit. Uh, from the PMM, and that is the Rosviet module, just 45 meters now separating Sergey Volkov, Satoshi Furukawa, and Mike Fossum from their home for the next five and a half months. One cell uh, to the right of the center of Veska, crosshair is aligned. Small roll. Final approach in progress. SSVP is ready. Range approximately 30 meters. Radio range rate is nominal. Here's the line. Target half. An outstanding view of the uh, Soyuz with the uh, limb of the Earth. In the background, just 33 meters separating the Soyuz from the Rossviet module. On the far left of your screen, the 42 Progress cargo craft docked to the Piers docking compartment. The glittering solar rays of the U.S. segment of the International Space Station on the right side of your screen. The docking mechanism on the Soyuz has been powered up, and the core's automated rendezvous antenna has been retracted as planned. Uh, um, the uh, roll maneuver is almost done. So, no more roll rotation. Range about 25 meters. Range about 20 meters. Final approach rate nominal. Copy. Small movement of the target relative to the center of ESK, but that's within nominal range. 23 meters now separating the Soyuz from its target on the Rossviet module. As of the Soyuz and the International Space Station fly 218 miles due east of Rio de Janeiro. Okay, the station keeping command is uh, uh, armed. Okay, Satoshi. Okay, go ahead and uh, again bring the image to the full screen. Okay, let Satoshi select the command. Target is in the center. A range about 15 meters. Our uh, radio range rate is normal. We still have some roll motion. 
Причаливание. Final approach in progress. Десять метров. Ten meters. Скорость в норме. Номинал. Кресты совмещены. Roll maneuver complete. Crosshair is aligned. Target is one cell to the right from the center of Veska. Everything is normal. Proceeding with final approach. Okay, getting ready. Range the docking target coming into final alignment uh, through the Corps' automated rendezvous system, less than 10 meters away from docking. Rate of closure, one-tenth of a meter per second. We are ready for contact. Standing by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Standing by for contact. Target is in the center. Rate is nominal. We still have some roll left. Yes, still it remains small roll. Half cell to the right from the center of the sky, approaching the center, crosshairs aligned, standing by for contact, about two meters. Standing by, contact confirmed. Docking confirmed. Confirmed. Copy. The International Space Station in free drift. Congratulations, Sergey. Okay. The hearty laugh of Mike Fossum signaling the arrival of three new residents of the International Space Station. Docking confirmed at 4.18 p.m. Central Time as the Soyuz TMA-02M and the International Space Station flew 218 statute miles to the northeast of Rio de Janeiro. Uh, rod extended. What did you say? No, never mind. R6. R6. Deactivate what? Proceed uh, per the uh, procedure. Yes. Roma 6 and Roma 10. With the docking having occurred a few minutes ahead of schedule, uh, the relative motion uh, between the two spacecraft now will dampen out for a few seconds. Uh, the docking probe will begin a slow retraction, uh, basically to form a hard mate uh, and initiate the closing of the hooks and latches uh, between the Soyuz and the docking mechanism on the Rosfiat module of the International Space Station. Again, docking occurring at 4.18 p.m. Central Time, 5.18 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, uh, bottles, uh, one, for f number one, one, five, five, second, two, three, one. Second, two, three, 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 uh, it was a small dropout. Please repeat. Uh, Yuri, we uh, finished the steps on page 69, and we are moving to page 70, 70. Affirmative. Okay, we are closing RPV-1. Satoshi, go ahead and close RPV-1. Michael. Michael? Timer. The timer. Let's write down the pressure in bow. A good view of the newest vehicle at the International Space Station, the Soyuz TMA-02M, having docked uh, just uh, three minutes ago to the Rosvies module of the International Space Station.
Nestle uh, comfortably uh, very near the permanent uh, multi-purpose module, the PMN, that is on the Earth-facing side of the Unity module that connects the U.S. and Russian segments of the International Space Station.